This is rotating gallium transformed into a parabolic shape allowing reflected sunlight to form a small but powerful focal point. In previous videos we showed you how spinning liquids form a parabola similar to liquid mirrored telescopes. We also showed you a homemade rheostat that allows for effective voltage controlling. Gallium is an element that is brittle in a solid state but easily liquefied when heated just below 30 degrees Celsius or 86 degrees Fahrenheit. By centering a plastic container used for small bolts to a geared motor, we have the ability to control the focal length of the liquid mirror by controlling the RPM. At full speed, the gallium flows to the outer rim, creating a useless parabolic reflector. When the power is removed from the geared motor and the rotation stops, the gallium quickly pools back to level. While liquid mercury is a better material to use for this experiment, it is also extremely hazardous to work with and hazmat proofing my front yard was not an option, so gallium was a logical choice. Increasing the RPM causes the gallium to flow to the outer walls creating a deeper parabola with a shorter focal length and a smaller concentrated image of the sun. Slowing the motor down shallows the parabola, creating a longer focal length and enlarging the image of the sun on our cloth. Since our mirror is very small in diameter, a shorter focal length is required to burn a hole in a leaf. The one issue with using gallium is the mild slag residue that tends to form on the top. While it does not drastically affect our solar concentration, it would make imaging very difficult. There are methods of cleaning up the gallium surface and more precisely controlling the RPM of the containment chamber producing better optical imaging. We will be covering this in future videos. In the more info area below you will find links of a liquid telescope mirror in action and some fantastic slow motion videos of liquid mercury. I'm your host Dan Rojas. Thank you for watching and enjoy our videos.